the anticipation of a kiss, it might sound like this. Is it going to be something good? It's in the sway of my hips. I don't know what key I'm in, but it don't even matter. Oh, so satisfying. My background is first as a classical musician, and uh, in my course of study, I began to try to uncover the hidden history about the violin, especially in African American culture. And as I began this path, I, I found incredible documented history of blues fiddlers, of course jazz fiddlers, which is not talked about. And in fact, in my early college uh, education, I was discouraged from seeking this out and told that the violin really had no place in jazz. So I began to search it out and a few years ago had the opportunity to see uh, some important videos on the Sweethearts of Rhythm. They were these all-female jazz bands of the 1930s and 40s and 50s that traveled the country and sort of during the wartime began to perform because the men were away fighting the war. So these women sort of took the role of the men in these jazz bands and were very accomplished musicians. One. I've had this dream for a long time of doing a similar sort of thing, but replacing the horns, the saxophones, and the trumpets, and the trombones with string instruments. If I had to define European classical music and jazz, I think I would uh, speak to classical music as a style that is based primarily on a written tradition. They are notes and, and ideas that are formulated on the paper, and they pretty much stay true to what is there on the page, what the, the composer intended. Jazz is very different in that respect because it literally lifts the ideas off the page and puts it in a realm that deals with improvisation. And that sense of improvisation is always at play. It's always engaged. In jazz, we're never separated from that, going to that place of sometimes referred to as the risk, you know, factor. When I was first learning to play jazz and trying to get to a different kind of sound and a different kind of expression that would be closer to these African uh, sensibilities, I had to step away from this perfect sense of playing and begin to incorporate feelings or expressions that would speak to my personal favorite to uh, kind of a sense of provocativeness, uh, nastiness, you know, on the violin. I never really thought about it in those terms. Well, how would you play something that would give you a sense of, oh, she's flirting? sense of the spirituality of the music and of the musical experience in making music and trying to transcend the boundaries that have existed between musicians and audiences for so long so that we become one and there's that wonderful symbiotic relationship that happens that it's not a concert anymore it becomes so much more transcendent than that. It's 
said there aren't too many harpists that play jazz. So for Lisa to have picked the harp to add as not a string player, string section player, but as a rhythm section to me is so much fun. That's where I thrive. I want to be with the bass and drums. People don't think of harp like that. The addition of strings in jazz is really special. I define spirituality in music in a way that sees no separation between what we consider sacred and secular. Everything in life is celebrated in, in a sort of spiritual way. It's so satisfying to be able to understand that what you do reaches people in that way, then you know that you're giving back and you're contributing something. That's why I'm here, I believe. That's why God has put me on the earth, is to, be, to do this through the voice of music in a way that is different than all the rest. Thank you, Jane, Francine, Elaine, Janine, Lori, Kathy, Jody, Elizabeth, Adrian. Go, Lisa.